The USA is keeping its borders closed. Despite Canada allowing vaccinated Americans to visit, the United States has extended its land border closures. In this video, we discuss the extension of the US land border restrictions, with Canada and Mexico, in the face of other countries opening their borders to the US. We also check out how you can travel to the US despite the travel restrictions. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and click that bell, to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below, as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by IAM. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. The United States government extended the closure of land borders with Canada and Mexico to non-essential travel until the 21st of August. The Department of Homeland Security DHS, announced the latest 30-day extension. DHS said the agency is in constant contact with Canadian and Mexican counterparts to identify the conditions under which restrictions may be eased safely and sustainably. The US has continued to extend the restrictions on Canada and Mexico on a monthly basis since March 2020. As in prior extensions, DHS said it could still seek to amend or rescind the restrictions before the 21st of August. The announcement came after Canada has stated that they will open for vaccinated Americans from the 9th of August. It's unclear how, or if, the US decision will affect the Canadian decision. The US continues to allow Canadians and Mexicans to arrive via plane, but they are required to present proof of a negative COVID-19 test result before entry. Travelers crossing US land borders on essential business do not need negative COVID-19 tests. The US land border restrictions do not bar US citizens and lawful permanent residents returning to the United States. The Canadian Chamber of Commerce, a business group, criticized the latest US extension. The Chamber's chief executive, Perrin Beatty, said the US move flies in the face of both science and the most recent public health data. It's hard to see how allowing fully vaccinated Canadians to enter the US poses a public health threat when travel within the US is unrestricted, BT added. What are your thoughts on this issue? Is the US the only country in the West still with closed borders? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.